What's going on my crew? This is Rusty and welcome to another episode of Skyopolis 4. In today's episode, we are going to be diving pretty deep into the pack. A uh, couple things that I want to work on right off the bat is we need to get uh, some basic nether stuff as well as get some bronze and then finally, I believe, the uh, treated oak planks. That will get us to the next level where we'll be able to get some steel. Check this out. Check this out. Uh, I'm very sad, though, because I wanted to get some fish. So so I was noticing that when I had water falling off the edge, I would end up having uh, fish growing in them. So I tried to make a pond big enough for there to be some fish and some squids, but apparently it's not. So either I'm going to have to make it bigger or something, but I like it. It's pretty aesthetic. Uh, it's nice. Um, so, here, over here, we've been working pretty hard on getting uh, a whole bunch of stuff going. I basically just made... Uh, I didn't actually make two after all. Uh, I found that this was actually pretty efficient. I uh, got the job done. Um, so, we will be expanding this in the future because I think we have to grind up uh, some nether rack instead of cobblestone here in a little bit. But, um, if we come over here... I could show you guys. We've got quite a bit of dust, and that's not even the half of it. As you can see, there's a bunch of glowstone hanging around, so clearly we've been doing something. And as you can see, tons and tons of dust. So to start off, uh, I know one thing that we do need to do is get some sulfur cooked up. So this is a good opportunity for me to show you guys how this whole thing works. So we did it wrong last time. The reason why there was so much noise is because there was a whole bunch of air leaking out of the air compressor. You have to put it on the back here. I'm still not entirely sure how to actually charge this thing. Um, I almost feel like the air compressor, as you guys can see, it goes up between 3 and 4. And as you guys can see, this is between 3 and 4. So I think that the air pressure has to equalize, which means that this will only be charged to 3 to 4 bars pressure. Um, which makes sense, scientifically speaking, too. If we wanted to, say, get marble, um, or slate, or any one of these things, um, what we would want to do is you uh, shift down and then right-click on a chest. You put the chest uh, with some money in it, and as you can see, we need it to be uh, going towards the air. Then we can buy anything that we want um, from this area. So... Um, there's nothing here that I really want to get, um, and everything that I might want to get looks a little bit too expensive for me, so we'll probably end up skipping on it. Interesting. Um, but basically what you do is you would right-click, and then click this place order, and then in a few minutes, what will happen is you'll have the drone come down they'll take the money and then they will leave you with the stuff uh so if we go into nether enriched water which we can't do that way nether enriched um the way we make this is with a whole bunch of stuff that we have got our redstone got some lapis got some sulfur got some glowstone and got plenty of rotten flesh actually i think just enough um Lapis, uh, the way you make that is you also need to put that in a furnace. Uh, redstone, I've already got a redstone block. How many do we need? Four, 16, four glowstone, and 16 silver. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do while those are cooking up here is I want to show you guys how we do this duplication. So I showed you guys the Amadron or whatever it's called tablet. Uh, and now let's actually use the fluid duplication token, which I went the wrong way. Hold on. Down here, around here, go over here. Alright. So we'll put in the token, the bucket, and boom! We get weak enriched water. Okay, I think we're all set to go here. Um, we've got everything that we needed, so we will put everything in this. And boom! All good to go. Now, uh, book. I believe what we need next is we need to make some nether stuff. 
So, Blaze, Mead in Quartz, Gold Dust, all this stuff. How is this? Okay, so this is just regular dust. Okay, I could have figured that out. Oh, we've got dust in the bar. Let's see what happens when we put all this dust in here. Nice. We got all three of the things that we wanted. So, Nether Dust, uh, Quartz Dust, Glowstone, and Gold copper and tin um and then i think we'll oops oh my god all right let's do it like this then okay we'll just keep adding it all right so we now have some bronze and we will cook this up. And then put our dust back in here. Okay. Here we go. We've got uh, our bronze. And now the next step is going to be to make ourselves a projector. And then that will give us, uh, by the book, a whole bunch of these regular stuff for uh, immersive engineering. Um, is it immersive engineering? I think it is. Uh, next we need to, uh, mix charcoal and sulfur dust to make coal dust, uh, which requires us to, I believe, hold up. Do we just, oh, you know what? I think we need to put it in the mixer. So we got a little bit of coal dust to get us started. Uh, we'll throw that in the oven, which makes no sense, but you know what? Nobody asked me my opinion. Uh, and then we'll get some sulfur blocks, because I believe we are about to enter into needing to make a cold coke oven. So let's get these taken care of, and then we've got the cold coke bricks, which is going to be made with all of this stuff. Okay, so we get nine, so we only need to do this three times. So three times eight. Which is 24. So we only need 24 clay balls, which isn't too bad. Uh, we've already got a start here and here. We're ready for some coke. Uh, okay, so we get nine bricks per, which equals out to 27. So we're going to have to figure out where to put this gigantic monstrosity. I think we're going to put it right here, actually. Um, let's check the book real quick to make sure there's nothing that we're missing. Nope, don't believe so. So we're going to knock out this wall. There we go. And then all we need to do is right-click with the engineer's hammer and shaboom. And then we'll put in our wonderful, beautiful coal. Now, here's the problem that I always have with this in every single pack. We're going to make a crap ton of creosote oil. Now, creosote oil we can very quickly and easily turn into treated stuff. Uh, we've already got like a whole bunch of them. Uh, the problem with creosote oil is that you produce far more than you could ever want, ever. Uh, and that's not even the right, the right one. Um, so we'll see how this all plans out, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous about that. Hey guys, I just found out in editing that my microphone ended up muting, so I will try my best to re-narrate everything going on here. So basically, I was opening up a couple chests that we got as rewards, and then, as you guys can see, we are going to be looking up how to get strong enriched water. So, with strong enriched water, we basically have everything that we needed, we just needed to actually get the materials. So part of that was getting netherrack, which is just cobble into the nether enriched water, as well as a bunch of treated wood planks, which was going to take me the most amount of time. Other than that, everything is pretty much stuff that we've already gone over, so I'll skip ahead to another part here. Okay, so uh, really quickly, uh, off camera, while I was waiting to get the cold coke, uh, making enough creosote oil, I actually uh, went and started looking at the Batania and finding out that we need to utilize Batania a lot more than we thought we did uh, floral um fertilizer that we'll see right here uh me trying to make which is just a couple uh dyes and some uh, bone meal or you can use the living root uh that comes in the beginning um and then we're basically 
going to then make this uh, little basin here, um, which then ends up being your, um, you add water to it, and then the petal apothecary, I mean, you add water to it, and then you put in petals, as well as seed, and that's, um, you have to put in white petals for a pure daisy, but then you get your pure daisy and pure daisy is actually used for a whole bunch of other things specifically what we need to use it for here in the beginning is living rock so as i mentioned in the video uh, that you're not able to see here um we're going to be digging a little bit deeper into battalion in the next episode um but for this episode i just kind of wanted to get started and get us going off camera i'm going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff um to get us started so i can explain it a little bit better but that is that part Okay, so here we are, uh, we've got everything that we needed to get, and uh, we're coming over to the uh, enriched water, and basically just going to throw everything in, which this ended up being probably the worst way to do this, um, because it's so uh, weirdly awkwardly shaped, so we'll skip ahead here. Alright, so everything went in, and there we go, strong enriched water. And what was actually kind of cool is all the dust was up at the top, so I just took my axe, uh, once I got it and uh, just knocked it out and then I was able to pretty much right off the bat get exactly like pretty much a whole bunch of stuff and uh, you actually get some really cool stuff out of this um, so as we'll see here in a second we're gonna be able to get ender pearls um, which is something that we needed for the next step in Batania anyways so um, as I started to put the rest of the dust in um, just to get pretty much as much iron is really what I'm looking for here uh, as possible um, we were able to get zinc dust, lead dust, um, iron dust, of course, uh, there was nickel dust, um, uh, appetite dust, so a whole bunch of stuff. So you're really going to want to make sure that you've got your dust production up uh, and possibly even create another one of those towers um, like we saw uh, us make in the last episode. So uh, just keep that in mind. I was also explaining here that I tried to actually get... Um, a machine going to fully automate this but what was going on is when it would drop the uh, dust into the water the hopper would actually pick it up way too quickly for it to convert uh, so I wasn't able to do the automated system and that's kind of where we're at but anyways guys uh, that does do it for today's episode I know it's kind of weird here at the end I appreciate you being patient with me hopefully you guys were able to pick up everything that you needed to to continue on in this pack uh, off camera, I'm going to be doing a lot of work, uh, sprucing a couple more things up and um, making the next episode hopefully a lot smoother than the last few have been. Um, but I'm going to be working on Batania uh, as well as uh, getting hopefully steel by the end of the next episode. So I hope you guys will join me and I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. And I hope that uh, I can earn your subscription. And if I did, hit that subscribe button. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, happy mining and crafting.